Hey guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. I'm here today with a good old fashioned handbag review. Okay, it's what we started our channels pretty much with. Trust me, I want to say thank you so much to everybody for watching my Louis Vuitton price increase video. All the comments, it was sensational. The discussion in the comments was crazy. So many different opinions, so many different views, and that's what's so great about this community is we've all got kind of different ideas of how it goes down. Thank you for watching that. This bag, or bags that I have, is a great example of not only the price increase, but how hard to get item, hard to get your hands on, whatnot, so on and so forth. I do want to say though, since that video, I have kind of been thinking to take some videos in a different direction. You guys really enjoyed that, hearing sort of my opinion, I suppose, as a bigger luxury YouTuber or whatever that's been around for a while in the sense of how I feel about things. You guys really liked hearing it, you know, as a actually honest, I suppose, opinion video. So I might look at doing more of those, okay? Honest opinion videos. Let me know in the comments below what, you know, topics you'd like to hear on, maybe, you know, particular categories. So such as there's too many Hermes unboxes, unboxings which is such a higher level bracket as opposed to uh, luxury brands such as something like Saint Laurent that is something that you would shop a lot more making it more relatable does that make sense leave me a comment below what you think I've kind of already had some people be like you have to talk topic more so yes this is a good old-fashioned uh, bag review handbag review on these two bags mini palm springs backpack so i'm gonna start off i do have like category to keep me sort of organized but i am gonna start off with prices seen as though that is a fun topic at the moment okay, so like i did in my price increase video i am just gonna go europe like euro us dollar and then australian dollar um just so I kind of kind of cover a few of the different currencies. But currently, this Palm Springs mini backpack retails for, in Australia, it retails for $3,550. Now, surprisingly, I thought the reverse was a bit more just because, I don't know, it's reverse, it's new, but Surprisingly, as I just said, the canvas, it is still all over canvas and it retails for the same. So 3,550, hold up the reverse, Jerusha. 3,550 Australian dollars. In euros, I'm assuming they're both the same, okay? So we don't need to. In euros, it is 1,800 euros. And in US dollars, it's $2,440. Here's the cracker sold out on every website well when I'm filming this I just looked sold out on every website okay sold out sold out on the European website sold out on the US website but hello as of today I don't know about when this goes live this little beauty is available online Okay, I don't know how many there would be, but it is available right now by the time this goes live. I'm not quite sure if it will still be there, probably not. So in the plain monogram canvas, all over plain monogram, classic I should say, this is sold out. So that is the first category, prices. Obviously that is with the price increase. I can't do before and now because I don't have it. However, do I still think it's worth it? for a canvas ham well a canvas backpack small mini bag do i think three and a half is australian is worth it yes i do because of the functionality so the fact that you can wear it different ways and 
that's optional for you is far more outside of the regular, I suppose, handbag if it was in that price bracket. Of course, it is still really expensive for canvas, for a man-made material, but it does have the black leather trim that, you know, so many people rave about how handy it is. It doesn't turn or vachette. I'm sorry, patina, the vachette, which is really, really good. It is. Do I think it's worth it? I do. I still think that's a pretty good price. It's not good, it's really expensive, but I still think for what you get and the versatility of these bags, and I will go over that in a second, I think it's still an okay price. So Monogram has the backpack straps attached to save me time. They're kind of fiddly to put the extension on. They come in four pieces. If you know the Mini Palm Springs backpack, it is a backpack, okay? That is what it is. However, because it comes with the straps, they are detachable on the four hooks on the back. So there you have your little clasps which attach to the D-ring at the top. And there is the four of them so that you can attach the straps on as a backpack however you feel comfortable. So this is straight attached. If you want to crisscross the back so you have more support, you can do that like a school backpack. They come in four pieces because the rivets and the way that you push them through there, the way you push them through creates the extension as such that clips to the bottom D-rings, comes with the bag. I'm gonna start with strap talk because that's one of my points because I suppose it is the most interesting part about this bag, backpack, because of the versatility with the D-rings and the detachable straps. We are gonna show you, I'm not doing mud shots or standing up, but I will put it on my back here and we will show you <laughs> Jerusha wearing, okay, I'm six foot. Jillian, my mother, said it looks like I, when I first got it, Mussy, my first boy was like two. He said, she said, it looks like you're wearing Mussy's backpack. Okay. Jerusha never wears it as a backpack. I am too tall. I am too curvy. I'm a bigger girl. It does not work for me at all. I'm never going to wear it as a backpack. Yes, I had the PM size, uh, but I would never wear this as a backpack. So optional, I'm not gonna go over the prices of the others, but it comes in the MM size, which is much more of like a school bag, and then the PM size. So essentially, small, medium, large. The medium and the large PM, MM, do not have detachable backpack, sorry, back straps, and they are those padded that people feel are kind of like alien-like. They are padded as well, it's not webbing. So they are the size ranges of the Palm Springs line. What do I do? Well, you can detach the back backpack strap and you can extend one of them and just use the black leather. So we will take this guy and put him on the ground and take one of the black leather if you want that thin kind of look and we just attach it back on the D-rings on the top and have it as a shoulder bag that way or you can crossbody it if you make it longer. That is not changing or using any other straps if you wanted to. You can also, which is a really cool idea, extend this longer if you're tallie like me, hook them onto the D-rings and you can sling it over. So it kind of becomes like the uh, bum bag behind me. So it can kind of cross body on you or cross body on your back, like almost really slouching, kind of more of a relaxed kind of vibe. But that is all using, those options is all using the straps that come with the actual mini Palm Springs backpack. Okay, I'm sure there is videos of many different ways you can use those calfskin, the black straps that come with this backpack. I'm sure there's other ways you can do it. That's totally cool. You can see if you can find those videos, but this is what I do. And actually, <laughs> 
I don't have it with me, but what I do do, I will get this bag out, I will grab my, my pochette Matisse and I will clip it onto the D-rings and use it. So it's monogram and monogram canvas and use it like that. I don't know why it became a habit and I've just been doing it and I haven't stopped kind of ever since. However, because I do not have a classic pochette Matisse right now, this is my go-to and this is my XL reverse monogram strap with the calf skin uh, lining on the back so it makes it really pliable and flexible which is so nice. Again you get, what are these called? Draw pins, that's it. Draw pin like uh, rivets there that you can push through and you have a small amount of extension there on the bottom so if you are taller I have it on the longest setting naturally if you're shorter and then I just go ahead with the clasps and hook them onto the D-rings at the top here straight I don't link it across them on there and then this is how I wear it like so it drops lower on my shoulder I don't mind that and then I genuinely will wear it crossbody uh, that is how I wear it and that is how I have been wearing it because I'm going to show you what is inside this, what it can fit and why I feel like for that price and especially the new price it's worth it because for such a small bag, a quick run around size, which is what this is, it packs a punch. That is what they look like next to it if I was to make the effort to put them on again but it's the same so it all works with the beautiful cut and this is so so smooth like buttery smooth a lot of people think like in the Macasa line and everything why don't they just do the calf skin everywhere as opposed to fichette which patinas and turns a darker color Louis Vuitton pretty much like invented vachette okay they put the raw cowhide on for their trunks and their luggage originally titanic and and that type of like turn and the patina is what they're known for so if they was to scrap it and only put like calf skin like the macasa on everything i think you're basically losing the or like the authentic heritage of the brand. <laughs> so these are the back tra pack straps in the calf. Don't use them, but gorgeous. I never ever use, it's wild. I never use my pochette Matisse if I had the classic, not reverse, classic. I don't use my pochette Matisse, which I do on the monogram. I use this XL reverse on the reverse. I know it's wild it is so wild and I stick to it like glue like I you will never see me carrying the monogram without my pochette Matisse strap on it it's so weird and then I guess you could probably say because they match but I don't know that's not it at all I also you know right now I'm carrying it with this and and sometimes I would carry it with that I don't mind and obviously you have the contrast of the regular classic canvas on the front little pocket and then the reverse so that's my strap game it's funny it is solid as well I promise you it's solid I never change okay while I've got it up I'm gonna go over the features of this back Hands down, this model of this bag, there was an original model where the actual canvas lip covered the zipper. It was, you know, a problem with rubbing. A lot of the canvases rubbed and ripped. I feel like, God, I always do that. I feel like they should pull the lip back on the bum bag. If they pulled that lip back, the same type of lip with the canvas, I would rebuy it again. I would purchase it again. Because I flip, and that's what I did on my first mini Palm Springs, is I used to flip that lip back like that to unzip it, and then I would let it go once it zipped up because I didn't want it rubbing. It's totally not focusing. So I would lift it up on the side like that, unzip it and then let it fall back down when I had closed it because I didn't want it rubbing. So that was the original model, then they changed them. Ever since then, it's all been this exposed uh, zipper so you can see it. Okay, most important point on details. 
This has to be, and this is a big call, this is a big call. I did once have, once have a pochette accessories and I have my Eva clutch and that's pretty amazing and original. But this zipper has to be one of Louis Vuitton's most buttery, smooth zippers ever. The way you can have this on the side of your body and just access the inside with one zip and then back up. It's just one of those things that you don't have to fuss with or frustrate, be frustrated over. If you know bags, you know this, like where you're fiddling and fussing and you just, it's like, it aggravates you. This zipper, I promise, is so buttery soft. So this lip on the front is pretty much an example of what the lip used to be, like how it went forward. They kept it overlaying on the front. They didn't expose this front zipper like that. They kept it over the top to make it, I guess, look quite neat. All of the zippers are these like mini little key zipper pulls. They're both side engraved with the LV logo, which is really, really cute. And then you've got a uh, calf skin leather tab with Louis Vuitton Paris to pull down when you open this front zipper uh, pocket, which originally in my first couple, my first two versions of this bag, <laughs> I used to put my car key in this cause like you don't need it, but we trade out cars so much. Like I give Will my car and vice versa that if I put it in here, I'll forget it. Um, so you pull this tab to access, like that's what you do. You kind of have to pull the um, canvas out to access, you know, kind of access the pocket properly. You have two little uh, calf leather tabs here to pull against the opposite direction when you're zipping and I'm zipping, very helpful. And here apparently is a scarf hook. Whoever would hang their scarf here, I don't know. Maybe that's kind of like a hiking backpack vibe, but apparently it's a scarf hook. Personally, personally, I love if I can't, if I can't hang it on something or it's too big to hang, say like on a, on like a public bathroom hook, this is too big, like it's a small hook. I'll just go like this and hang it on the tiny hook like that. Cause ain't no one putting their Vuitton bag on a public toilet floor. Boop. So I'll move on to the details on the monogram because then I'll show you what's inside it to finish up and then I'll give you my opinion on it. So it has this gorgeous kind of puffed stitching. It's not necessarily puffy like the straps on the PM and MM are like this kind of, yeah, again, alien-like sort of puff, which is only on this little handle in the mini. Uh, but these aren't super puffy. They're just kind of padded, which makes it comfortable. So you've got all the stitching on the back there. All of the monogram canvas runs uh, vertically, which is really nice as well. There's no, what that means is that you don't turn it around and there's upside down LVs, if you know what I mean. The four uh, D-rings on the back are just the beautiful gold, but it, then it has the calf skin, which attaches it. The really, you know, the contrast is really beautiful with the calf skin, it is. Like there's, you know, quite a few parts that is, you know, calf skin uh, featured, which I think is really nice. They could have left all this tab stuff off and that would have not, you know, given it that same sort of effect. So again, oh, hello. So the cool thing about the mini backpack or the backpack line, Palm Springs backpack, is that it is fabric lines. So it's actually really beautiful to the touch. It's not as if it's soft, but it's like, I feel like it's well wearing. So it is this fabric lining on the inside. It is one large main compartment and then you have the back slip, like the back wall pocket, which I'll show you. But let's go ahead and do it what's in it or what fits, shall we? Right now, this is my current bag I'm using. So I have my glasses, my reading glasses, which is Chanel. I have my sun sunglasses in a little, uh, leopard skin pouch. May I always suggest pouches. The big hard uh, contain, 
containers. Sunglass cases is nice to protect them. However, in a bag this size, the little baggies are perfect. Bam, Key Australia, shout out to Key Australia. God, I would love to collaborate with them. Could you imagine a pair of Jerusha sunglasses? Hello, they'd be called the Bams. So these are the black gradient high keys, so gorgeous. I have down here a mask, which we're being let off masks next week, I think, which is great. I have a random $20 note. We have very colorful money here in Australia, if you don't know. I have my four key ring, which goes everywhere with me. I have a lot of keys. I have my remote car key down there. I have my new Oriton little triangular, uh, I guess, catch or pouch. But the coolest thing about this is that you just squeeze it. I have ladies products in there and my and my AirPods fit perfectly. And it just zips up and fits so nicely. And then on the bottom I have my wallet, which is my little um, coin purse from Chanel, my first ever one that I got in the large size. So that is what is actually in here. You have the tag um, in the leather tab on the side with the date code. And you can see Louis Vuitton Paris made in France and that is the slip pocket in the back. If I was to keep anything in there, it would most probably be business cards or Zucky's hair tie because my baby has long hair and he's a boy. And that is basically it. That is what is in my mini Palm Springs backpack that I have been using. I'm going to trade out now because I want a bigger wallet. That's how I tend to do. I like, I fidget and then... I, if I'm using small bags and then I just finish, I want to get like my big insulate wallet and use that. Hi Susan, gifted me my insulate wallet. So yes, all in all, that is the specs, the details going over, you know, what it looks like, what I like about it, and then what's in the one I was using. Why do I have both canvases? Because I liked the bag and I felt like at the time when I had, I have always really had the classic and I had the monogram, uh, reverse monogram first came in, I was like, oh, I love the bag and I don't want to miss out. And at this stage with Louis Vuitton, if there's a lot of videos going around saying like the FOMO or whatever, but it's real. And you know what? Again, leave in the comments below. If you want me to do opinion videos, I'm more than happy to do it, okay? Your girl's got to say. I have definitely got to say, honey. But the thing is, the fear of missing out is not a bad thing. It's not. Yes, okay, budget-wise, it might be a bad thing. You might be, you know, financially pushing yourself to get something before it goes or if you can't find it. Don't go into debt over it. I mean, that's just stupidity, but don't go into debt over anything. You know what I mean? Don't go over to debt over, go into debt, sorry, over real estate. I say this all the time. Some of my colleagues who really, really want to get, you know, their first or second property, it will fall in time. It really will. God's plan. It, it knows when it's going to fall and when you're comfortable and in a position for it to fall. Same goes for luxury. Sounds really superficial, but it is true. So finishing up, in my opinion, is it worth it? A hundred percent. I think it is because it is interchangeable, usable, a user-friendly bag, a quick grab and go, but you can use it for weeks on end. It's not as if it's so tiny, you can't get anything in it. You saw how much I had in it and that's not everything. My phone is over there. Um, and at the same time, the versatility of the straps is great, but at the same time, it is really cute. If you're petite and slender, it will look amazing as a backpack on you, hence the reason it's meant to be a backpack. If you're bigger and curvy like moi, shout out to my big girls, then, you know, if you want to wear it as a handbag, you do you. If you want to wear it as a backpack, you do you as well, and it works either way so you have that versatility so that is it guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you like 
these type of reviews, going over it and opinion videos, please leave me some ideas down below of what you want to see, okay? We can have a yarn, we can have a chat, we can have a gossip, I don't mind. You know, my opinion videos are clearly something people want to see and sit down and have a chat about and that's great. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and wish to do so, that would be great guys. There is a button below. I'd super appreciate that. Please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up guys. That is really important for us YouTubers now just to show YouTube that we are in good standing and you enjoy our content. I hope everybody is staying safe and doing well guys. Take care. Peace. <laughs>